in Ignatius's spiritual exercises, Ignatius likes to propose in various places in the exercises three levels, three degrees of various things. The three degrees of humility. And, and when Ignatius does this, he never starts from the evil or doing bad. He always starts from good. So the first degree or level of humility is the normal Christian life. I follow my desires and my vocation. I get a job doing something I really like. I don't commit sin. I avoid sin as much as I can. I, I'm happy to become wealthy or to stay poor, whatever sort of pleases me, so long as it doesn't require me to commit sin. So to, for it to be a good degree of humility, it is basically observing the, the, the rules of the church, the rules of, of following Christ. And that's good. And it's where a lot of us are. It's where a lot of people will remain. But Ignatius then proposes the next level, a level that includes maybe more freedom, more attention to the life of Christ and following Christ more closely. And in that, at that level is the sense of desiring to do what God wants me to do. And it requires a certain indifference. So I'm happy to do what I want to do if that's what God wants me to do. But I'm also indifferent to let that go in favor of something completely different if God asked me to do that. It also means I may give up seeking wealth in favor of being poor and doing something that might be more important for um, serving the people, serving the poor. And that indifference is, is something that's a little bit better. It's surrendering, surrendering our own will to the will of God. And it's a great step forward. And it's a, a step that is a, a, a deepening of our following of Christ. And then Ignatius proposes the third degree of humility the next level, where we move beyond indifference to actively seeking to be poor as Jesus Christ was poor, to do as Jesus Christ did in serving the poor, and going forward and doing that which more closely follows the ministry of Jesus Christ in the world. And that requires uh, more than an indifference. It's actually a desire to do that which is difficult, that which is, is, is hard, and to leave the pleasures, the goods, from that first degree. So Ignatius has the sense of a deepening, a continuing possibility of deepening that following of Christ and of, of becoming more Christ-like in our own lives. And that, that I, I think it's important to say, is, is a work of a lifetime as well that we never completely come to that third degree in any of the, the different discussions of Ignatius, probably until the end of our lives.